the United Nations General Assembly in 1966 proclaimed March 21st as International Day for the Elimination of Racial Discrimination. The day pays tribute to 69 peaceful protesters in Sharpeville, South Africa, who on this day in 1960 were gunned down by police authorities while protesting against apartheid laws. The 2023 theme of the International Day focuses on the urgency of combating racism and racial discrimination, 75 years after the adoption of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights was proclaimed by the United Nations General Assembly in 1948 as a common standard of achievements for all peoples and all nations and set out fundamental human rights to be universally protected. Article 2 of the Declaration states that everyone is entitled to all rights and freedoms without distinction of any kind, such as race and color, among others. Article 1 of the International Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Racial Discrimination defines racial discrimination as, and I quote, any distinction, exclusion, restriction, or preference based on race, color, descent or national or ethnic origin which has the purpose or effect of nullifying or impairing the recognition, enjoyment or exercise on an equal footing of human rights and fundamental freedoms in the political, economic, social, cultural or any other field of public life." Unquote. Racial discrimination has, has undoubtedly shredded the fabric of many societies across the world. Racism has taken many forms throughout the decades, namely colonialism, slavery, South Africa's apartheid and Rwanda's genocide, among others. Locally, we have seen manifestation of racial strife culminating in racially and ethnically inspired violence in 1963 and 1964 period. Noteworthy, political actors have from time to time played a vital role in invoking racial hostilities among and between the Guyanese populace and some continue to peddle this loathsome narrative to date. Since the issuance of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, Guyana being a multi-ethnic and multi-racial nation has endeavored significant efforts towards addressing ethnic and racial discrimination. Constitutional provisions and ordinary legislation specifically promote and protect human rights of the individual. These efforts continue to be administered through, through various statutory mechanisms. The judiciary is also mandated by the constitution to pay due regard to international law, conventions, covenants, and charters bearing on human rights. Prevention against racial discrimination is enshrined in the country's supreme law, the constitution of Guyana. Article 149, one of the constitution states that no law shall make any provision that is discriminatory either of itself or in its effect and that no person shall be treated in a discriminatory manner by any person acting by virtue of any written law or in the performance or, or the performance of the functions of any public office or any public authority. For context, Article 149.2 defines discriminatory as affording different treatment to different persons attributable wholly or mainly to their parents or guardians' respective descriptions by race and color, among others. Article 160A1 provides that all persons, institutions, and political parties are prohibited from taking any action or advancing discriminating or communicating any idea which may result in racial or ethnic division among people. Article 212A of the Constitution also provides for the appointment of an Ethnic Relations Commission and Article 212D lists the extensive mandate and functions of the Commission. Ordinary statute also provides protection against racial discrimination. The 2002 amended Racial Hostility Act makes it a criminal offense to excite hostility or ill will against persons by reason of their race and prohibits 
incitement to reach the racial hatred punishable if one willfully excites or attempts to excite hostility or ill will against any section of the public or against any person on the ground of the race. The representation of People's Amendment Act 2001 also makes it a criminal offense for any person to make or publish or cause to be made or published any statement or takes any action that result in or can result in racial or ethnic violence or hatred among people. The Amerindian Act of 2006 guarantees the cultural and economic rights of the Amerindian people and provides for the administration of Amerindian communities. The Broadcast Act of 2011 prohibits the use of racial, ethnic or religious vilification of any individual or group by broadcasting operators. At the international level, Guyana signed on to the International Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Racial Discrimination in 1968 and ratified same in 1977. More recently, Guyana introduced and voted in support of the resolution entitled, quote, a global call for concrete action for the elimination of racism racial discrimination, xenophobia, and related intolerance, and the comprehensive implementation of and follow-up to the Durban Declaration and Program of Action, unquote, at the 47th plenary meeting of the United Nations General Assembly on December 31st, 2020. These and other prompt and robust steps in law and in policy continue to advance equality and combat racism and racial discrimination locally. The elimination of racial discrimination and indeed forging equality in every facet of the state apparatus and public endeavors remain one of the highest priorities of the government of Guyana. We are committed in building a society which conduces to the recognition of our six individual ethnicities their heritage, their culture, and their religion, while at the same time striving to create a unique Guyanese nationality captured in our national motto of one people, one nation with a common destiny. Thank you.